Hello and welcome to another conversation on the Business Plus where we say that business is more than meets the eye. And to prove that, today we are here in Nairobi with a company that has been op in operation for more than nine years now. That is the Prime Star Printers. These are people that deal with branding, imagine branding cars, the billboards that you see out here, no jungle in any one brand. Now today we'll be going to talk about all that. That is why we have Steve in the building. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm also very fine. Thank you. Yes, and we're happy to have you. Thank you so much. Yes. Introduce yourself, tell people who you are, and then we'll be talking about Prime Star Printers. Hello, my name is Steve Cheriot. I'm the operating manager of Primestar Printers. Uh, it's a printing company mm -hmm. that we've been operating. We started from scratch. Mm -hmm. As you have been told, nine years down the line. Wow. We see you have been in so many challenges, mm -hmm. but so far we can say it's successful. It's successful. Yeah. All right, that's why today we want you to talk to people out there when you want to a such a business. Now, how do you want to Okay. Yes. Now, tell me, Prime Star Printers, uh, what exactly is it? Prime, Prime Star Printers, uh -huh. uh, it's a printing company mm -hmm. registered uh, at around uh, 2014, mm -hmm. where we started from scratch. Mm -hmm. The only thing we had uh, was the idea of printing, mm -hmm. which we got from Technical University of Kenya. Mm -hmm. That took. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I went through a degree of graphic and design. Graphic and design. Yes. So ukiwa ukisomea graphic and design, they will come up na ah, you come and ku print. Yeah. All right. It's something that. I like playing with color, ah, so uh -huh. uh, I went to school knowing mm -hmm. that I like colors, playing with colors, mm -hmm. how to balance to get something. Uh -huh. So uh, when I went to talk, mm -hmm. I took graphic and design mm -hmm. course, uh, went through it, and then after that, I said, let me start my company uh -huh. from scratch, but Apparently, I had mentors. Oh, yeah. So, mentors in Domeko, Kushikilia, and Baka Mahali, Baka Mahali, Mahali, Mahali. Mahali. All right. One of them was my mom. Uh -huh. She was under printing also. Mm -hmm. And so, what I saw her doing, I really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. So, I said, uh, I'm going to venture into this. Wow. And advance from where she left. All right. Yeah. So, what services do you give here at Prime Star Printers? At Prime Star Printers, uh -huh. we offer all types of printing. Mm -hmm. We have different types of printing. Mm -hmm. We have the receipt book printing, mm -hmm. we have the billboard printing, mm -hmm. there are categories of printing. Mm -hmm. So we also have branding with these cars. Mm -hmm. We do. We have billboard signage. Mm -hmm. We also do that. So all that is under branding? Yeah, all, all that right. is under branding. Now, now um, from the word branding, I understand marketing. So mm -hmm. what's the difference between branding and Yonafanya and the actual marketing? Okay, there's difference between the two of them. Mm -hmm. For you to do market, mm -hmm. you have to brand you. All right. For you to get something to sell. Uh -huh. That's why for a, for a company to start, mm -hmm. just to have a logo. Uh -huh. So logo in Atoka Hapa? In the tears to start from us. Uh -huh. I have to come up with something and tell mm -hmm. you, hey, this is... This is your identity. Mm -hmm. How to brand you? Mm -hmm. Who are you? All right. So your work is actually like identifying a certain brand or a certain company. Exactly. All right. And for the time that you've been doing Imamba branding and everything, is there a certain like a particular company in your name you've worked with from scratch and now you've seen you've seen them grow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So many. All right. Because, uh, okay, when it comes to branding, mm -hmm. we start with so many companies. Mm -hmm. As I said, for you to come, you tell me, Steve, I've come, I have an idea. I want to open maybe a cloth line. All right. You see? Mm -hmm. you, have, you have come with the name cloth line. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who has to tell you, mm -hmm. okay, you have to have an identity of that cloth line. How mm -hmm. How is it supposed to look like? Mm. 
the colors that can be used mm -hmm. according to the fashion industry. All right. You see, mm -hmm. corporate and fashion industry and other details, they are different. Okay. So I have to come with an idea mm -hmm. for you to start. Okay, I'm giving you this is your logo. Oh, this is what will identify my company from right today. All right. So uh -huh. it has to start from branding. Lazimi yanze kwa branding ndio sasa company grow. We are the source of every company. All right. <laughs> yeah. And now what are the different types of branding that you do? We have different types of branding. Mm -hmm. We have the digital branding, mm -hmm. which is the large format printing. Mm -hmm. As no, this see. is what is used for the digital yeah. branding. This is this is a large format printer uh -huh. which is for digital branding. Like we do billboards. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, yeah. is a billboard. Billboard. Uh -huh. This is the machine that we use. Uh, we have uh, branding cars, the mm -hmm. stickers that you see. Mm -hmm. It all Especially in the time campaigns and everything. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> the so PA you na talk hapa. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is first of all designed with the computer. Mm -hmm. uh, you come up with a layout of how the car should look like. Mm -hmm. Now you come print and then it goes to stick to the car. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the digital that branding. The digital branding. Then we have the offset branding. Mm -hmm. That one now comes in to a situation where we have a large production all right large production to a station whereby maybe you want 10,000 posters mm -hmm. maybe you want uh, the magazines mm -hmm. we use the offset printers mm -hmm. yeah all right so the offset printers in your equina magazines is it now does it mean the difference between the uh, digital and the offset offset near offset is for the small things that can be touchable uh -huh. Yeah, like, like the hand base, uh -huh. like the business cards. All right. I mean, not the business cards, like the magazines. Mm -hmm. You usually use the offset mm -hmm. when you do a bulk production. Okay. And now, for someone who wants to start such a business, Okonje, will you advise him or her? And then the digital one, ama the offset. For a start, digital. Digital one. When you look at the input you want to put on this mm -hmm. and it's your first time to come into business mm -hmm. you have to come you have to be a graphic designer mm -hmm. for you to know how to put the design mm -hmm. your ideas into the computer mm -hmm. from the computer to something that someone can read all right it has to start with being a designer mm -hmm. from there you have to know uh, the different because we have different kind of papers mm -hmm. we're using. Mm -hmm. We are uh, we are for flyers which is lighter compared to the business card which is heavier. Yeah. Yeah. They go by the grammage. Mm -hmm. You have to know the grammage. Mm -hmm. We also have the receipt books. Mm -hmm. So for you to start this business, yeah, you have to first of all know all those process. Mm -hmm. If I want, if my clients wants a business card, mm -hmm. what kind of paper, quality paper am I supposed to use? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it but also brings in the party of kukwa creative with what you want to make. You, you have to be creative. All right. And now that you've told me umekwa kwa biashara for nine years now, you need time refu sada. So what is your capital looking at? For starting capital, you don't have to have a capital to start this business. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is first, you have to have the clientele base. That means uh -huh. you have to look for client first. All right. So how are you getting a client when you don't even have uh -huh. some work to show that now this is what I've been doing? That's a, uh, you have Brings to, me to how uh -huh. do you get your clients? so that you can now explain how I'm supposed to get my client if it's my first time. If it's your first time into this business, mm -hmm. uh, it, first of all, it's a business you can operate without an office. Uh -huh. As long as you have your laptop mm -hmm. and you know the how to do design. All right. You see? Mm -hmm. As long as you know how to do your design and mm -hmm. you have the laptop, it's easy for me to come to you mm -hmm. and show you this is what I mm -hmm. can do first. All right. To win your trust. Okay. So if I can show you mm -hmm. and do a sample mm -hmm. and give it to you, mm -hmm. 
it can if you have a good plan, like if you get someone who understands the business, yeah, you can give you that's how you come building up your clientele. All right. Yeah. And how do you maintain your clients? So after you've I've made this design for you and I've printed it, now it's a whole brand. How do you make sure that now these clients nimi nafanya kazi all the time? Rule number one, mm -hmm. you have so clients, you have to maintain their quality print mm -hmm. and their color. Like you have a client who tells you my color is purple. There are uh -huh. different shades of purple. Yeah. So you have to show mm -hmm. I started with this purple. I mm. have to maintain that purple. Uh -huh. In everything in brand it comes to t-shirts, comes to the vehicle brand mm -hmm. and comes to it has to be the same shade. The same shade. All right. That's how first of all you maintain the client. The client. Because uh -huh. he or she knows if I go to this person, mm -hmm. I cannot get what I'm getting from this. Person. Yes. Number two, mm -hmm. time keeping. Mm -hmm. This is because it's not pressure. Uh -huh. Maybe someone is having a function tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You remember, hey Steve. I need programs, I need uh, to advertise my me, I have a yeah. timeline of this. Uh, you have to meet them. Sometimes we work through late night. Up 24 to 12, hours. Up to 12, we can talk to you for hours. <laughs> we work through midnight, yeah. they can leave rest and mm -hmm. they come back. All right. Just to meet the timeline. The deadlines. Yeah. All right. And um, how many people do you work with um, in terms of the people you need to help you do this work since you may say but sometimes it's in a good just give a bulk Sana. Uh -huh. uh, so far we are 15 mm -hmm. so far we are 15 and yeah uh, the colleagues uh, we have uh, three designers uh -huh. we have one operator for the large format mm -hmm. we have uh, other operators who are working on the that production of posters that mm -hmm. is offset or oh, the offset printers yes all right and for these people who you work with wakikuja the first time lazima kwa na any background knowledge ama wakikuja you can now start from there and now teach them what exactly they're supposed to do definitely you have to come with something like you have you should have an experience maybe from uh, design work mm -hmm. first of all if you come and ask for for a job, mm -hmm. you have to come and show us what you can do. Right. So that you can know where to place it. Mm -hmm. like for example, you have to know how to operate the the software, the mm -hmm. graphic software. All right. Because it's the start mm -hmm. of everything. For me to get a business card, you have mm -hmm. to start from a designer. For me to get the branded car, mm -hmm. it has to start from the software. The software. All right. Yeah. So that's how I now that is it about the branding business but i'd really want to know how much profit you make because you say that business is more than meets the eye it's more than just the posters you see around the billboards you see around but before that i want you to give us a five minutes tip just tell us uh, to the young people out there or people who want to start such a business what exactly am i supposed to do For those who want to start this business, it's very easy. For youngsters, I can assure you, you only need a little bit of capital for you to start this. All you need is your skills in graphic design. From there, you need to put it into practice so that you can perfect it. And then you can start with small machines like digital machines, which do small jobs like the business card, the flyers, the posters, and maybe some handbills. Uh, you need a little capital of around, uh, you can start with around of 50 Gs. I'm sure it can give you a go. As long as you have built your clientele based of the business. You also need to know the type of paper tree that is being used. Like for example, the paper that has been used in business cards is different from the one that has been used in making of the six books. Also, it's different than the ones that have been used in making the posters. So, 
you have to know the different types of papers to be used the different types of paper your client really want for him or her to achieve what she wants for her company you have to buy the machine so that you may do the production so i can tell you you may need maybe a computer a laptop a printing machine those are the basic requirements for starting the business and you have to take a risk of buying them before going uh, before proceeding so that you may get uh, you may achieve what your client wants this thing fluctuates like today you may get this product uh, at this price maybe you may get a, you want to brand a bag today they have been imported with no tax uh, maybe the price comes lower you have given your client a certain uh, price for a bag he or she tells you it's okay now uh, can you deliver them when you go back to the market you find the price has shifted you still have to talk to your client convince him or her that you really need uh, either the price has gone high or it has gone low or something has happened you have to know how to handle your client because the prices you never know today you may buy buy at this price by the by maybe two to three days you get it going to the next price and it's the market you you just have to know how to handle it i've lost clients i've gained clients all you have to do is to be honest with your client if the business is hard or it's going to be expensive or it's going to take longer period than you expected for it to take because we do have blackouts in our in our in our working place those things consume time so you have to be honest with your client just go tell him or her that hey i'm sorry i'm not going to deliver this time because maybe something and something has happened or maybe the down payment you paid which has gone this way we need to add more cash for it to be executed uh, so the only way to make it all the way through is to take the honest route all the way it has messed me up but i picked it up i learned it and i've made it through and for now that's all i can tell you guys uh, for you to start all the best and you can do it my name is steve and this is business plus all right thank you so much for talking to people out there when you're nataka kwanza such a business na vile nimesikia it's not even that hard you just have to be determined and follow all the steps zenye mbembewa and you'll be good to go before tuende kwa the tips zenye me to pair we were talking about profits now how profitable is such a business in Kenya wow so far uh huh as you have seen mm -hmm. just been so many years down the line mm -hmm. and i can comprehend there's me the business in Kenya mm -hmm. first of all first of all as a youth mm -hmm. i can encourage them it's a good business mm -hmm. a wonderful one mm -hmm. it helps you first of all meet with many people mm -hmm. and you know the more people you meet the more jobs you get yeah. and i can assure you uh -huh. the more business you are in mm -hmm. the more profit you make wow so so far mm. it feeds me my family and we are online so All it's right. a good business in kenya so it's actually a business that is profitable in it's, kenya it's very pro profitable uh -huh. where you put effort in effort yes. all right so effort is the main point all right so ninona you have a lot of things in here yeah, i want you to yes. take me through the machineries uh -huh. maybe we can start from here right okay so what exactly is this and what does it do 
This is a digital machine. Uh -huh. It prints posters, flyers. Mm -hmm. uh, it prints posters, flyers, business cards. Mm -hmm. This is the machine that we shall use okay. for the production. Mm -hmm. And then from there, mm -hmm. we have this one. This is called a heat press machine. Heat press machine? Yes. Oh, Ninona icona t shirt. Yeah, so, this is what is used to print the t shirt. This is what you use for branding for your t shirt. Uh -huh. For your. Uh, you can what about talk. the cups? The cups, we have another machine I'll show you. Uh -huh. For this one, like, as you can see, mm -hmm. This is its work mm -hmm. for printing and branding. You have different, it prints different types of, as long as mm. you have the, the printout uh -huh. on different types of paper, uh -huh. it prints it. All right. This is a heat print machine. All right. When it so comes, it's the same machine that prints even the hoodies and all types of machine. clothes. It's the same machine. All types of fine print. Okay. The fabrics. The fabrics. Yes. All right. So we have this one. Mm -hmm. It usually does the mugs. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we have different types. This were white, mm -hmm. and we printed the logos. Maybe you have a brand that you wanna show people. Like, hey, can you put my name? Yeah, sure. Can you put my picture on the mug? Sure. Uh, or even the pictures. Yeah. All right. Now, you how can... does it work? So what you do? Uh -huh. We have an episode here. Mm -hmm. That one, mm -hmm. you shall do a printout, mm -hmm. and then this one transfer the ink mm -hmm. from that a special paper called transfer paper All right. to this mug, ah, and it beautiful. becomes very like it cannot move. So it's permanent. once you printed it, it's permanent. It's permanent. All right. You can wash it. You can scrub it. Mm. So uh, from there, mm -hmm. we have this machine. Uh -huh. This is called a large forward. Large format. Yeah, uh -huh. for the large format, mm -hmm. it prints a uh, billboard. Mm -hmm. It prints uh, all this kind of. You see, we brand uh, cars. Mm -hmm. We brand uh, this uh, billboards. We have mm -hmm. signage. Mm -hmm. The one you shall see outside the office. Mm -hmm. This is the machine uh -huh. that you shall print. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So what you had mentioned about the kips. Yeah. Which machine is used to brand this? For the kids, uh -huh. we have to print first of all there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And so the, okay. uh, the Epson. The Epson. Yes. Uh -huh. And then there is a special machine, I'm sure, but it's not here. All right. This is the other office mm -hmm. because the office was small. All right. The machine is bigger. Yeah. Okay. So, about the machines. Uh -huh. Um, maybe the machines that you want to use doing something or printing to any. So kuna any specific specs that you need while buying such a machine? Yeah, it depends mm -hmm. on the type of work you're doing. Uh -huh. If you have to meet a, if you have to meet the job uh -huh. for this machine, mm -hmm. you have to go to a like for example your computer mm -hmm. it just was higher up mm -hmm. because first of all the adults are very heavy mm -hmm. for it to come out very clear yeah it has to have mm -hmm. a so a ram that is so high okay. above mm -hmm. 4 gb above 4 gb yeah uh -huh. and your storage mm -hmm. has to be around mm -hmm. 1 gb all right yeah because okay. like you can see the artwork, it's very heavy. For mm. it to come out very clear, mm -hmm. it has to be so heavy. Mm. No, it's coming out very yeah, clear. Yeah, very clear, mm. like the person himself. Mm. Wow, okay. Yeah. So how long did it take for this job to stabilize? I can say it took about five years. Five years? Yes. Alright, so lazimo when a patient. That's mm -hmm. the first, that's the background of every business. Uh -huh. For me to make return, mm -hmm. it started stabilizing after mm -hmm. five years. Mm -hmm. So five years of struggling, trying because, this and that here yes, and there. I can give you an example because when you want to buy a machine worth mm -hmm. more than 500,000 mm -hmm. and you're starting with a capital of 50,000, yeah, you have to pay your patient. office, uh -huh. you have to feed yourself, yeah. you have to be patient. Yeah. yeah. All right. And now, um, no, no, you're making a lot, a lot, a lot of things here. Yeah, who are right. your target audience? My target audience, or your target clients, the people you're actually targeting to make all this for? 
Mm-hmm. Okay, first and foremost, uh-huh. we target the corporate companies. Corporate companies. Yeah. Uh-huh. Those are the people that can make change in business because mm-hmm. their order is always consistent. Like mm-hmm. as soon as maybe you have done uh, mm-hmm. 50 receipt books, uh-huh. they are using them. Uh-huh, Once yeah, they finish, finish mm-hmm. they have to call Steve. They say, hey Steve, we need some more. Mm-hmm. Hey Prime we need you guys to do this, this, and this. Yeah, so you have orders every yeah, now and then. So those are the people that we target mm-hmm. the most. Alright. Yeah. And you have competition out there, the people you're really competing with. Yeah, we do. How do you handle it? We do have competition. Mm-hmm. The only thing mm-hmm. we have to come into agreement to a station nearby, we have to maintain our prices. Like mm-hmm. my price here is the same with my maybe my colleague. So mm-hmm. that maybe we may main, we maintain the the market price. Uh-huh. Because, so the know, market price here is the same market price out there. Outside there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because maybe we may go and maybe uh no part of me too. I make a price in Guinea, you can't defeat one because yeah. the prices of the materials mm-hmm. fluctuate. Mm-hmm. So, you have to talk with other business guys, but you still have to maintain your quality. Okay. Yeah. All right. And for this season, which is the um, printing in your major Nayo Sana during um, a peak time or any other time, which is the printing service that does well, com- uh, okay, compare the Digital one and the other one we sell it. The offset. The offset. Cut a digital na offset. Which mm-hmm. one in a making a lot of good sale? Uh-huh. For the offset, uh-huh. if you have bulk printing, mm-hmm. it's a good business. Alright. Because uh, maybe you may get a job running for one week. Mm-hmm. You see? Yeah, so machine, from one company. From one company, uh-huh. yeah. Running like maybe I can give you an example maybe on January mm-hmm. so many companies make calendars yeah mm-hmm. there's no machine digital machine that can beat the offset machine when it comes to production ah. of such okay. bulk mm-hmm. production mm-hmm. for the digital ones mm-hmm. we only do the day-to-day production maybe like when you have like promotional items, mm-hmm. like you, you need your virus to be branded, you need yeah. your t-shirts to be branded. So this Cups. is the same machine that brands virus. Yeah, yeah. They, no, there is a flatbed machine for all the right, All right, all right. Yes. Sawa, sawa. So for such a business, yeah. is there any certification I need for the government from the government so that I can run it? Yeah, definitely. Like, all businesses, uh-huh. you have to get the license from the. City Council mm-hmm. eh, to run your business. Okay. There are the other fees like maybe you want to advertise like the way you have put our billboard outside there. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have to pay for it. All right. There are so far about think, taxes. Yeah, you have to find taxes. Uh-huh. Those are the things we, are, we really have to maintain. All right. Yes. And for someone out there, Lazima Akwena a business plan. So that you can start such a business. Ama ukiwa na pesa, I can decide. Leo I now want to start business. Ya kwanza ku brands. Uh, you, you have to have a business plan. Uh-huh. You have to know who am I targeting. This is my mm. business. Who am I targeting? The people of targeting, what do they want from me? Mm-hmm. So you have to have all your plans uh-huh. written down. For you to start any business. All right. So lazima uko na plan kwanza. Yeah. Those are. For you to know what what am I going to get? Mm-hmm. Which machine am I starting with? Mm-hmm. And how much do I have? All right. I'm going to get this is this amount. Mm-hmm. Is it corresponding to what I am? The budget, the capital budget I have. Mm-hmm. So for any business, lazima uko na business plan kwanza, yeah. so that you can now set up. It's true. You can start with this without having the computer. Yeah. True. There's nothing right. you can do. Mm. And for the Prime Star printers, are you guys mobile? Maybe if I want you to brand my car, Lazima ni kuje hapa, ama I can call you from wherever I am, I want this car printed, then ukuje. No, we are very mobile. Uh-huh. Like right now, we have so much people, we have like colleagues who are outside. Mm-hmm. 
we have several car branding going on as you are speaking mm -hmm. and all you need to do is you give us a call mm -hmm. we sit down as a team mm -hmm. we come up with an idea mm -hmm. send it back to you for approval uh -huh. and then you say yeah it's okay i like what you have shown me mm -hmm. now come and do it wherever you are we are going to come uh, so you guys are mobile we are very mobile all right yes. that's okay and how do you um how do you market yourself in terms of making sure that people out there as, as much as you're doing a good job people know what you're doing uh, so far mm -hmm. we started marketing ourselves using the social media uh -huh. we, we went past that mm -hmm. nowadays we just post but we get referrals uh -huh. You so see? referral. Yeah, right yeah. now, from where we have worked, the clients we pass through the corporate, we just get referrals from one client to another. They say, mm. hey, I got your number from so and so prime star printers. Uh, can you do this? Yeah, we can do. At how much? We give them. We send the quotation. Uh -huh. They give us the design. We give them back for approval, and then. Yeah. So that's it. In fact, most of our clients don't come in the office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's on a phone call and it's everything is done. It's a phone call. We agree. We mm -hmm. do a sample, take it to them, and then come and do. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's it about the branding company. And you've seen that it's a very good business as long as you are determined and you know what you want to do. Kale for five minutes tip and yamulipewa. Make sure you follow that. It doesn't matter where you are. Ama ile. Uh, starting capital in Yokonayo as much as you're determined and you have the patience. You've told me you started uh, before you stabilized, it took you five years. Five good years. Five good years. So, so lazima patience. ukue na patience. Yeah. That has been the Business Plus with me, Rachel Kahugo. Till next time.